Hey everyone, I uh, just wanted to do a quick video on custom colors in Desmos. And what I'm going to do is kind of go through uh, the idea of picking a color and then defining a color. Uh, and then we'll maybe take a look at how to organize those in the uh, graphing project. So uh, first off, just uh, using inequalities to shade, right? Um, we've kind of been through that idea already, but if I have a couple of functions, and I'm doing like a Y or an X between two different functions. Um, I might restrict it right on some domain uh, that will let me shade like a particularly particular area that I am interested in. Uh, when you change the settings, right? So edit the list, you can pick from generally, uh, it's like these six custom colors that Desmos comes with or default colors. Uh, so there's red, blue, green, orange, uh, purple and black. Uh, so those are usually the ones in the fill. You can uh, change that if you want. Uh, right now at the default is 40% uh, shading. You can change that to uh, one if you want it solid or uh, some other other color. Uh, if you want it really light, you use a, a high opacity, right, but a low value, uh, meaning uh, there's not a lot of color going to come in. If you want it completely filled in, then uh, you would uh, just put that as a one and then it's going to block anything that is underneath it. So uh, keep that in mind, like the color you first see when you put it into Desmos may not be uh, the exact color depending on what opacity uh, you change it to. So uh, it's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, but let's say I wanted uh, maybe like a yellow or uh, a pink or an or orange, but not maybe that shade of orange or something like that. Uh, or a navy blue uh, that's not this shade of blue. Uh, how could I get a custom color in there? Uh, so custom colors you can uh, define a couple of ways. Uh, you can use the RGB, uh, which stands for red, green, blue, or you can use uh, HSV, which is hue, saturation, and value. And that's the one that I like more because the values make more sense to me um, in terms of adjusting. Uh, so I'm going to use that one. So I'm just going to define a uh, color here, and I'm going to say uh, when you define a color, right, uh, a lot of times what I'll do anytime you're naming something in Desmos, uh, you get one letter capitalized kind of for free, and then everything else has to go in the subscript. So uh, I'm just going to call this color one with the O-L-O-R one in the subscript. And then I'm going to put equals, and hsv and it'll automatically um, change the, the font type and you want a parentheses and you're going to put three values the hue the saturation and the value All right so this will be something like um, let's use something like i don't know 35.9 and 0.9 uh, something like that so this is kind of an orangey color uh, I'll explain all of these numbers uh, here in a minute, but um, that is uh, the hue. It's kind of the shade, right? So you can think of that as like um, I have my reds, my greens, my blues, that sort of thing. Uh, so if I want to be in greens, I need to be more in the 90 range, and then I get greens. Uh, if I want to change uh, the saturation, this will change how much uh, green is in there, and it'll go from green to gray depending on how much you put in there. So if I use 0.1, that's more of a gray color. If I use 0.9, it's going to be more of a green color. And then the uh, last, the value is the darkness, right? So if I change this to a 0.1 instead of a 0.9, it's a very dark green, right? It almost looks black on there. Uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, right? You can start to see it look a little more greenish, a little less blackish uh, as you change those values. So, uh, so you can adjust that. Uh, once you have a color defined, then when I go to my settings and pick my line or my color uh, for shading, then that will be a new option. So now I can pick this color one as a new option in that list. So it'll just add it to this list. And you can define as many as you want, right? So you can have 12, 14, 15 colors uh, in there that you can pick from. Um, but yeah, that is just going to appear there. Um, 
you won't have any like notification or anything that it's a new color choice but as soon as you define a color it is a new color choice in all your options uh, including the lines right so if I change the setting and I want that line to be green instead of purple then I could change that uh, so that is um, something to keep in mind right as you're going through the graphing project is defining those colors now um, how you pick those values uh, if you're not sure uh, there's this color picker uh, that I recommend so it's uh, imagerecizer.com and then slash color dash picker uh, so that address is right up there and I'll have it also linked in the in the course uh, where you can just click on it but uh, you may see some ads so uh, there might be some ads up there I'm gonna gonna scroll down so we don't have to keep looking at the ads change uh, but what you'll want to do on here is uh, it allows you to kind of click through and pick uh, based on this kind of color wheel. They have it as a straight line. Usually uh, people think of this as a wheel where it's like 0 degrees to 360. And as I move around the wheel, I go from red to orange, yellow, green, blue, right, uh, purples, and then back to reds again. Uh, so as that changes, right, this is going to be... Uh, if I switch to this HSV, uh, that hue, right, cool. Uh, I can just drag that to go up and down that uh, section over here to change uh, what my hue is going to be, right? So maybe I want to be somewhere in the blue range, right? So I'll pick over here. Uh, my saturation, right, will take me either more to the gray or more to the solid blue. And then the value, right, will be a darker blue or a lighter blue. Right, so you can kind of play with that, see, uh, and you'll see the swatch over here on the top left change uh, as you pick values. So you're like, maybe I need a gray, but I want it kind of a bluey gray. Um, maybe I need it more blue, or maybe I need it darker, right, that sort of thing. Uh, so you can go through and pick whatever color whenever you're happy with it. Uh, so this I would enter. Um, let's go ahead and pick maybe this shade of blue right here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change that in Desmos. All right, so it's 215 uh, for the hue. Uh, the saturation, you'll enter that as a decimal in Desmos. So instead of 34%, you'll put 0.34. And instead of 80%, you'll put 0.8. All right, so let's see. So this would be, and I can just change it right here. All right, so this would be a 215. And then we said the next one was 0.34 and then a 0.8. Uh, so there is the new blue color that I want uh, in Desmos. And notice uh, this is defined as color one, whatever color one is. So when I change color one, uh, that'll change the shading on that automatically. So uh, you can make slight adjustments, right? If I'm not happy with it, I can change that 0.8 to 0.9 and it'll right, automatically change. Or you can go back to the color picker and uh, kind of go through that as well. Uh, the other option that will take a look at is this image color picker all right so uh, if you switch to image uh, it'll actually let you upload an image and then you can click anywhere on your uploaded image and it'll tell you uh, what color that is uh, based on that hue saturation and value uh, that's right there so you can click anywhere and it'll uh, kind of give you what that uh, what that color is in your picture and you can adjust it right if you want to adjust it a little bit more uh, this A, in case you're curious, that is the opacity. So um, generally from clear, right, all the way to full uh, opaque where you can't see through it and uh, stuff in between. So that'll change your uh, kind of see-through opacity. I just recommend keeping that on one um, the whole time because you'll probably want to do that in your project as well. Uh, that's kind of it. So... Um, Again, you can use RGB. Uh, that is a function in Desmos, but uh, for me, I prefer the HSV just because it makes a little more sense uh, in my mind what values are changing and how that changes. Uh, the RGB uh, will also work, but uh, different amounts of red or blue or green, um, kind of the values don't always make sense or are very intuitive to, uh, when you start off. So, uh, so I do recommend kind of the HSV uh, as a I think a good starting place, uh, a little more intuitive uh, in terms of the uh, color picker, uh, just which direction you're going kind of on the scale uh, that's right there. So, uh, so that'll do it for this video and 
we'll see you on the next one.